Here is our last one on the service of the 90% plus furnace. We've done most everything we need to do. We do need to check amperage draw of the motors. Now in this case, this one has an ECM inducer and it also has an ECM circulating fan motor down here. Uh, so it's a little different. When you want to check amp draw this, and you can check the amp draw, it's rated right here. I think it's uh, 1.3 amps. They never seem to draw anywhere near that much. But, uh, but that's the amp draw of this thing. You're also making sure this thing's moving easily. These are ball bearing motors. We haven't had a lot of trouble with the bearings on them. Uh, mostly we have trouble with the electronics and these things. but. And uh, that's true of the ECM circulating fan uh, motors too. But let's go ahead and get this thing fired up. And uh, I'll get it into second stage. And because I want to check it at the highest speeds. And we will uh, see how this thing performs. Okay, we're up to high fire. This is traveling as fast as it's going to do, so it's going to be the highest amperage. Look for the black lead. At least that's how, what's true on a train. It's reading 0 0.71, 0 0.7, whatever. Um, this thing's rated at 1.3, so it's well under. Also, if you're checking an ECM motor, do not use one of the older meters. This is a true RMS meter. Now the only ones that will give you sensible readings. If I use one of the older meters, this thing's going to show a lot less amperage. It's just not going to be dependable. The inducer is okay. Now, I'm going to go down and check the fan motor, the circulating fan motor. This one can be a little harder. We've got uh, two blacks and a white here. You simply go to the one that shows amperage on it. Notice I'm showing 3.7. That's probably pretty good. Well, I'm not going to have the specs on these motors. I can pull the motor out and find the specs on it, but the problem there is I'm not going to pull a motor out for a service. And so even if it's a PSC motor, you kind of have to guess on these things. This is well within the specs for an ECM motor. Uh, this size. So I'm not worried about it. I'm more interested in listening to the fan motor run and checking out the blower wheel, which is what, what we're going to do next. Now you're probably not going to have this view because this is a test mule and it doesn't have a return air on it. You may have to use your fingers for most of this, but I'll show you this as we go here. Uh, it turns easy do a little bit of this on the uh, shaft and then I'm going to check these blower blades. Okay, here's what I can see in here. This is, isn't real bad, however I would probably pull this one out and clean it. It's, uh, it's getting to the point where it's going to reduce airflow. What these ECMs do, they actually speed up if, the, uh, if there's not enough static pressure. And so they'll speed up until they get the right amount. But that's not good for the motor. So I would pull this out and I would clean it. Okay, now that I've completed the service, I'm going to leave the machine running. When I leave the, the furnace room, I want the machine to be running. Now I'm probably going to have to take, like I put a little screw into the door switch, probably going to have to take that off, put the door on, and I want to wait for it to start. I also want to be sure that I haven't left any jumpers inside there, all my uh, piping for the um, condensate is tight, and uh, just generally check over the job. Spend just a couple of minutes looking over everything, make sure that you have not left anything out. Uh, once you've done that, you're done.